the, the refs are being charged. They're not pulling the flag, but the Coach Braddock is going to go out of 10 to Naylor. So what could have been a A good defensive stand as Gerard Jones was in the backfield and got a hand on him, just couldn't keep the grasp. And the Panther quarterback escaped the grasp of another defender. He got taken down at the 40 yard line, picked up about five yards on the play. And the play, Jalen Naylor got a blimping. Now he's down, still being tended to by Tiger Trainer. Naylor still down and going to be helped up by Coach Reddick and Kirk Landry. He's able to walk off under his own strength. It looks like Mason Smith is going to replace him at, at safety. The Panthers come out with five receivers, three to the right, one, two to the left on backfield. What about Kate the snap going to keep it himself? He's going to be taken down just behind the 40 yard line. Zach Rogers leaning in on the charge. Taking down the quarterback. Lewis stopped on the play for no gain. And, and Ty Hosey in on the tackle as well. You know, third down. The Panthers, same formation. Well, with the snap, guys back looking over to his left. Another receiver wide open and scraping the tackle and just pulling defenders. And I mean, he's just dragging that Tiger defense. Wow. Keyshawn Johnson is the receiver's name. Going to get it down to the, the Tiger 12 yard line. And the Tiger defense is going to have a a tough task now with 2.56 remaining in the first half with the Panthers already leading 20 to 17. Get the ball back after half. Quarterback drops back, looking deep, has Mason Smith in on the cover. The Mason Smith ball just had the interception in his hand, just came off his hand, but just couldn't maintain the grasp on it. But Mason Smith was in great position to pick that ball off and possibly could have. Ran it back for six. A great play nonetheless. Going to bring up second and ten for the Panthers on the Tigers' 12-yard line. Line up same formation. Back with the snap. Going to give it to his running back. He's going to take it around the left side. It's going to be taken down in the backfield. Taken down by Jawad Jones. Going to be tackled about the 18 yard line. Going to bring up third and 11 for the Panthers. Let's see if the Tigers can come up with one more good defensive stand here with. A minute and a half remaining in the first half here. The Panthers leading 20 to 17. What about with the snap? Josh back. Nothing but green grass. Going to keep it himself. Run. Cleans past the defender. Going to be taken down. Looks like at about the, the five yard line. He's going to be fourth and three for the Panthers. A, the Panthers are going to bring on their field goal unit. As time winds down. And 45. Last time the, the Panthers field goal was blocked. And before the kick is a, the Panthers are going to call a timeout. 
We're going to see if that changes their game plan here with 34 and a half seconds left, left in the first half. Panthers with a three point lead. Score being 20 to 17. So the Tigers have had some, some good offensive performances here tonight. Some not so good offensive performances here, but they have remained competitive. This has remained a competitive ball game for the Tigers. And to you, thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. Brought to you by Cedar Productions, LLC. Powered by Southeastern Baptist College, Keys Automotive Services, and Lucas Tax Services. And I'm the voice of the Northeast Jones Tigers, Kinsley Keys, proudly bringing you all the action. And as the Panthers take the field, and they decide to stick with the field goal. And the hold is good. And it's going to be a low kick. And it's going to be blocked. And the Tigers tried to stop the mess. It was blocked. The Tigers, a rather confusing play as the the field goal was blocked back into the hands of the Panthers. And the Panthers ran it in. And it was a, a touchdown. And Coach Braddock having the word with the official. So what? Turned into a good event for the, the Tigers as they blocked the field goal. It turned into a bad situation as it landed back into the hands of the, of the, the Panthers. Not really sure what the conversation was, but the Panthers field goal unit is back on the field. Gets to re-kick. Score still. That was a, a, a field goal, a touchdown, and another field goal. And the field goal was good. So now in just a short amount of time, this game has really gotten out of hand as the, the Tigers are trailing by 10 points. The score being Panthers 27 and the Tigers 17. With 26 seconds left in the first half, the Tigers are, they, they can't get too down on this self. They're, just, they're actually still in this ball game. This defense is just going to have to tighten up and start wrapping up and making tackles. Tigers get set to return the kickoff. Creek Johnson and Caleb Bryant back to, to return. A low kick. It's going to be fielded by Peyton Purdue. Purdue is going to get it down to about the 35 yard line. I'm sorry, the 30, 32 yard line. So the Tigers are going to set up shop. First and 10, with 23 seconds remaining in the first half, trailing 10 points. We're going to see how they choose to end this first half, and it looks like they're just going to Tigers trying to get the correct personnel on the field. Tigers are gonna just go ahead and end the first half with the, the victory formation. Tigers take a knee. And go ahead and take it in the end zone. 
So at the half, Equipment Panthers 27, Northeast Jones Tigers 17. So that's going to conclude the, the first half of our broadcast. We're going to end it right here and we'll have a new link to start the second half. So stay tuned to this broadcast brought to you by Senior Productions LLC. And we'll be right back with the second half broadcast. This broadcast is brought to you by Scenic Productions LLC and fueled by the following. Flickers Tax Service. With tax season just around the corner, visit Flickers Tax Service in Taylorsville, Mississippi, providing expert knowledge on all returns from 1040 EZs to corporations as well as payroll. Flickers Tax Service. Call 601-785-6900. Southeastern Baptist College, empowering students to reach their spiritual, academic, and athletic potential. Discover the difference at your hometown college. Southeastern Baptist College, equipping the saints. Having AC issues? Does your vehicle no longer drive like new? Head on over to Keys Automotive in Laurel. Keys Automotive specializes in repairing foreign and domestic vehicles. Keys Automotive, located at 623 Arco Lane in Laurel, or call Charles Keyes at 601-649-0517. Hey, this is Jawad Jones, defensive end for the Northeast Jones Tigers. Thank you for listening to the broadcast brought to you by Scenic Productions, LLC.